Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am back with another scrap video. Not the one that I need to be finishing. I am well aware that I still have to finish this and I will. I'm not dropping the ball, but I just had a massive fabric sale, my biggest ever. And now, I, you know, I had to put a lot of time into that. Now I have to do all the packing of the orders and stuff. So I just don't have the time or the brain power <laughs> to work on this right now. That'll be coming up. But I do want to do something. And I had an idea, and I'm going to try it. This is some scrap uh, muslin. And I thought I would have more and some to offer you on eBay. I bought an entire 50-yard bolt, and it completely sold out in one day. <laughs> so <laughs> there we go. That's that for that. But I have some pieces of this scrap muslin. And I have... My trash can full of lovely shreds all kinds of shreds batik shreds that's pretty much all that's in here is shreds so I'm going to do something with the shreds and this I'd like to just embellish like I've kind of done before but I think before I put other fabric down and then I would top stitch some of this and it was very busy loved it but i think this time i'm just going to like leave a lot of spaces and just put some of these shreds on there i have a lot of shreds that i have on ebay like when i list um selvages that i cut or different things sometimes you get the folds you get the sticks what i like to call sticks and sometimes you get shreds and i even did one i think of just shreds i can't remember i don't know what i've done but i thought maybe some would like to to see what they can do with this so let me you know cut some stuff and press i don't know if i would need fusible or not um, i'm all out of that too and i can't get any more um, all right, let me just get set up and then I will actually be taking you to the machine. I'm glad I did a practice piece because I would have completely wasted your time. My machine is fucked up. It has been. It has been broken for a long time and I can no longer do zigzag. I can do zigzag, but it skips constantly. I can't even do wide zigzag. It won't do zigzag at all. And, um, you know, it has issues and it needs to be brought to the shop. And it's not a matter of settings or tension. I know how to do all that and I've not had any problems with zigzag. So what I did is, since I can't do the zigzag, and I did try it on double thickness just to see if that would help but there's just so many places that it skips in the back and and all that see the bobbin is actually broken there's a part that's broken so what i did is this one here in the center i don't know if you can see that i did a very short stitch and i just did a straight stitch on each side and i kind of like it it looks like the stitching on a pair of jeans and that's just one thickness, right? I was just trying to get away without having to use any iron-on fusible because not everybody has that, and I just wanted to do something simple. So here's a very wrinkled, even though it's pressed, five and a quarter inch square. I thought I would do five and a quarter, and then I can trim it to five. So now I wanted to do very narrow shreds and zigzag over them but now I'm going to look for wider parts so let's do this maybe I'll try here and I want kind of wonky so I'm just gonna like kind of let it you know curve along the way I'm going to try starting in the center I love this color and I have white thread and a very short stitch like 15 stitches per inch Okay, here I go. I don't have the right glasses on. That would help. Oh, much better. Except they're filthy. Somewhat better. Let me look at this. Okay, it's good on both sides. 
turning, and I'm going to do the other side. And I don't mind if my lines are wonky too, you know, my stitching. All right, let me just um, do some more. I could do different colors, but I'm just going to go with this same color for now. Let me just trim it now. Let's continue. <laughs> Can you imagine? How many projects you'd have to do to use an entire trash can of this stuff? Should we make, um, yeah, let's do that. Let's make it like a, like a grid, kind of like plaid. I don't know. Let's try it. Am I out of that color? I'm looking through the trash for more. I found more. If I can't zigzag, that's going to force me to get this machine fixed. Why I have so many, you know, shreds like this is because I do a lot of cutting and then a lot of times I have to like even out the edge again when I move the fabric. Let's put one more. Press and trim and see what we've got. Let me go take care of this. I don't think this is going to rock anyone's world, but I really like it. I think if this was sashed, it would be really cool in a quilt. Um, you know, a scrappy quilt, but have some blocks like this. They don't all have to be like that. Now the thing is, is this is raw edge. So they're going to be thready for a little while. But I like it very much. What else can we do? I mean, I, I just wanted to give that a try. I like the looks of this better with the straight stitching. But the zigzag, you know, that really would help to have it not fray. But it would be good for like a tote bag or something that, you know, maybe you're not ever gonna wash it. <laughs> I don't know what this would be like washed and I'm not gonna take the time to do that in this video. So let me see, I'm gonna try something with different fabric, not the muslin. Let's try this. I've had this for a while it's a little tiny bit thicker than regular quilt cotton, but you know, really not that much. But maybe it'll be a little bit more stable. Gee, I should practice for a second. Let me practice on a salvage. Hang on. I'm so sad that I can't zigzag. So I tried it and it wasn't working. Okay, I'm going to try doing something on this. I have two. I don't think it matters which one and I have, let's see, ooh, I have a lot of white with little colors. Some of you will recognize that as part of my sale. <laughs> oh, and there's different little flowers here. Let's just do all kinds of different stuff. Okay, this is already very scrappy, so... I think I like it. I, I don't know for sure, but I think I do. These really aren't wide enough, so let's just do wide things and all different colors. This is pretty color. I don't know why I'm bothering with this. Yeah, I know a lot of you would not like that raw edge look. It does work its way out, but, you know, it can be like a lot of snipping in the beginning. But some of you might like it. It just looks, you know, very scrappy. Let's see what else we can find. 
Oh my goodness, I just thought of something that would work with this. But it's not with shreds. We're doing shreds tonight. But I have an idea to show you guys another time. I just go almost up to the end. That's what I'm doing now. And then I turn and I do a couple stitches. Because I'm going to trim that, so I don't care if there's extra stitching there. Let's do a couple more. <laughs> you should see the mess on my table. It's awful. Maybe something kind of wide here. Since there's a kind of wide there. See, I like to just play like this, and I just thought I'd turn the camera on. I wanted a video, and I got a video, and uh, some of you might be having light bulb moments and thinking, hey, that gives me an idea, and that's, that's what we like. We like ideas. And see, I got an idea, but I don't want to tell you, because I'm going to save it for a video. Okay, let's end with a little bit of green over here. Now, I don't think I want to go in the other direction. I'm going to keep it like this, and let me go trim that. I like this one. I didn't um, cut it square. It's a rectangle because I didn't want to have to cut off any of these things. Like I said, I got a couple of ideas now for this, and I'm going to uh, enjoy thinking about those ideas. <laughs> And bringing them to you. I don't know. Nothing really extra special going on here, but it is a way to use scraps. And I think that it would really look cool in a quilt. Some blocks like this, they wouldn't all have to be like this, but they could. They could be. They could be sashed and each one stand out. I don't know. I really like it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to throw these two things in the wash and I'll show them to you in another video. You know, they're obviously going to shrink, but we'll see how they turn out. All right? Okay. I hope you somewhat enjoyed this video and uh, please subscribe. I'll be back with more soon. And don't worry, I will finish the other scrap video that I promised I would finish. Bye.